Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day update. We are looking ahead to a First Alert Weather Day coming up this Wednesday. It's uh, kind of in the middle of our rain chances for this week where we're going to start off feeling like spring today and then end the week feeling like winter out there. So we're on a wild roller coaster ride this upcoming week. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, as we take a look at the radar, things are nice and quiet out there, but we do still have a few spotty showers working their way right now through Mitchell County, down around the Harrell Hill area, Bakersville, um, as well as up around Pleasant Garden on the Tennessee side of things. But overall, we're trending drier across most of our area during the day today. Those showers should be out of here very uh, shortly. They've just been kind of persisting a little bit longer than initially anticipated, uh, but those are going to start to lift up to the north and clear up out of this area with mostly sunny skies expected through the day. Then the clouds build as we head into the early hours of your Tuesday with scattered showers arriving from the west by about 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. So we start off uh, at least the first couple of hours of the day on the drier side. Just scattered showers expected on and off as we head throughout the morning. But this is where I think most of the activity is going to be for your Tuesday. Better chance into the morning with more isolated showers into the afternoon, especially across the mountains. Then it builds back in through those overnight hours Tuesday night, especially across the mountains and northern parts of the upstate where we expect to see the bulk of the rain south of I-85 a little bit on the drier side Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Then Wednesday starts off dry, but this is where we start to see that well-defined front move in. So as you look ahead towards noon, you can see that well-defined line of showers working their way from Tennessee down into the mountains. While I don't anticipate seeing organized severe weather along this line, there's at least enough instability that we may see an isolated damaging wind gust along the front side of this system. Nothing widespread, but certainly not out of the realm of possibilities there. Plus heavy rain as this pushes through and even a little snow development on the backside of this through the higher elevations. Plus, even outside of these showers and thunderstorms, we're looking at winds gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour. So I do anticipate this being just kind of a messy afternoon on Wednesday. So starting off dry, but then building into the afternoon and notice these winds Monday and Tuesday breezy today and tomorrow 20 to 25 mile per hour winds 40 to 50 mile per hour wind so expected as we look into the day on Wednesday. Then we get a brief break on Thursday before building back in those rain chances on Friday. Friday looks like a raw day across our area as we go from those 70s today to highs in the 40s as we head into the day on Friday. That 50 is probably going to be generous on Friday. So yeah, we're taking a wild temperature ride as we head into this week. Tomorrow will be a little cooler than today because of the cloud cover. Then we're back up ahead of that front into the 70s on Wednesday, cooling behind the front on, on uh, Thursday. Thursday into the 50s, but then Friday down into the 40s as a cold air wedge builds in during the day. Hopefully it breaks for the weekend and we rebound into the 60s. Haley.